don't watch my eyebrows they're a bit dysfunctional right now because i just woke up from my nap but <sighs> i want to say something here why is it that when someone don't have nothing else to say about the person they always go for the person's insecurity or they always go and point out the obvious thing about the person that everybody knows the person has so obviously now people like to attack maya and talk about her jaw being lean or her mouth being lean okay she's got a lean mouth but the girl's fucking beautiful she's very pretty she always dressed well and she's outside catching fucking flights and she doesn't rely on tiktok to pay her bills so let me make something clear when somebody don't know what to say about you and when somebody know they can't diss you about your looks they can't diss you about your body and they can't diss you about nothing else they can't call you ugly they can't say nothing like that they have to attack the one thing that they know you don't like about yourself or that other people don't like about you which is that one look at insecurity a message to maya baby girl you are too pretty maya let me tell you something you can't argue bitches that don't compete where they don't compare baby girl remember you catch flights you don't go to you don't go to um small places you really be out here catching flights <laughs> You look the fuck good. You always look good. Maya, remember, you don't live on sheen. You don't only buy sheen clothes. You understand? You look good. Anything you wear, Maya, you look good. So please, remember that. Don't make nobody on social media make you feel insecure about yourself. Maya, regardless if people want to talk about your lean mouth, you know what you need to do, Maya? Take the piss out of your lean mouth. Use your insecurity... And, and make fun out of it. Because I guarantee you, they won't cuss you about your mouth again. Because once they know that you know you have a lean mouth, and you take the piss out of your lean mouth, and you mock yourself, and you 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 you, you make joke out of it, them can't style you, because you've done a style yourself already, but the molds. Remember Maya, the, the more lean, but still can suck cocky. The more lean, and, and it's to keep your man. The more lean, and your man love you. Your more lean, and it don't affect your face. Your mouth lean and your blood clot look good in our real life. One Maya never two. I that must beat me. Oh. And one thing I don't like here when TJ is in Pasa Pasa on the media, or when TJ, which is Moya's boyfriend, for those that don't know, when TJ's on the media and he's at it with somebody or somebody has a problem with him, everybody likes to attack Maya. Maya is a girl that minds her fucking business that don't trouble nobody on the internet. She minds her business. If you're gonna, if you and TJ, if you and TJ are in an argument, why is it that people like to mention Maya? Why is it that people like to attack this girl? This girl don't trouble nobody. This girl minds her business and plays her fucking match. Like she don't see nobody. Like she literally minds her business. She does not even entertain fuckery. Like the only time you hear Maya's mouth is when someone's talking about her in such a dis disrespectful way. If a man, if a man come for you and a man disrespect to you, talk about and talk about the, the man that's cussing you. If you, if, the, if you and a man's in an argument, talk about you and the man. Why do you have to drag the girlfriend involved? I would never understand why every time that TJ's in an argument with somebody, they have to drag the poor girl. I would never understand. Well, Maya, keep doing you, boo. Remember, say you're pretty in our real life. You're, you have good art. You know, carry bad spirits. And you know, for keep a man. You understand? Oh.